If you want to call someone an idiot but without consequence, call them a ding dong instead. It's impossible to be offended by being called a ding dong. Every person I've called a ding dong just says, ha ha, ding dong. Boss, wife, friends, family, all fair game, all ding dongs. Silly goose is my replacement for fucking idiot. I deal with a lot of silly geese in the navy. Whack a doodle. I use dingus. However, my six year old called my three year old a dingus a few weekends ago, and the poor boy did not like that. Edit I would like to add that I never call my kids dingus. It's used for when they ask me about shows movies. They say why did that guy do that? I'd say because he's a dingus. I also call inanimate objects around the house dingus whenever they aren't working properly. That is where my children heard it from. I'll never utter the word you suggest. Dingaling. I quite like nitwit. What about a fucking ding dong? Too far? Hostess cupcake? Twinkie? Doorknob. Or moron but pronounced maroon. I prefer dingus my boss loves sit ha ha. Lifelong middle school teacher knucklehead is the way to go. Picked it up from my mentor teacher and use it dozens of times a day. No one can get mad including parents but everyone knows what you mean. I love middle school kids and I make sure to remind them that they are knuckleheads every day. I use spoon. It's either a random word that they kind of grasp is a bit of a dig at them, or they ask what I mean and I clarify that they're a spoon because they're not very sharp. Having baited them into setting up a punchline for a dad joke, they can't really be upset, because they're instinctively groaning instead. But then they don't realize I'm calling them an idiot, and they have to understand that I think they're an idiot or else I can't sleep. Or just say they are being an idiot. Maybe the ding dong ate your baby. Goofball. Goobal is always the best. I want video evidence of calling your boss a ding dong and that going over well. Or just stick a finger up your ass and instead of wanting to express your frustration you'll feel a strong desire to not have a finger up your anus. This is not a life hack you ding dong. I'll stick with ding bat time. I prefer calling people soup noodle for the same reason. What consequences are there for the word idiot? Hey op, an idiot for thinking there are consequences for me calling you an idiot. I prefer thank you for your input. I call folks a toddler when I don't want to get in trouble. Then I imagine them whining to my boss about it. Ja ja ding dong. That's my dog's nickname. He's a total ding dong. Dillweed. Call them blumpkin. Hey you glong dong, please remove your hidden microphones from my house immediately. I have resorted to calling people students ding dongs just in the last several weeks. I teach from home and never call them this to their face, but my wife knows which kids are ding dongs and which ones are fruit loops. HR has entered the chat. Silly Billy. I used to do that when I was six. Now I just call them idiots. Idiot. And then ding dong will be offensive. Mongoloid was a medical term for people with Downs syndrome. That word became an offensive word. Now Downs is an offensive word. Trisomy 21 would be the next acceptable term to use. I came up with, you are a waste of perfectly good carbon, many years ago. It's my favorite serious insult. What not call them dickhead asshole pussy etc instead. You bloody drongo. I did this for years until I heard a young woman call her friend a ding ding and I've been using that ever since. It just hits that sweet spot between ding dong and ding a ling. How to say this in another language like Chinese or Korean? Dingus, dengus, and jack wagon. Ding dong, dingleberry, dum dum, wingnut. I know a Chinese boy called ding dong, so be careful using it as an insult. This is not sarcasm. Wife. All the grandkids and dogs in the house are ding dongs. 
My wife and I love to call them that. I award them 7 out of 7. On the Bristol scale. Ding Dong became offensive to my daughter after time, so I switched it to Ding Ding. Now she just says, Uck, Mom, I'm not a Ding Ding. My favorite is Dink, because it's also dismissive. My boss called me a silly goose once, I laughed but I knew she was really calling me a fuckhead. Always just call them one of a kind. Yeah in the heat of the moment I saved myself by calling my wife an innie instead of something else. I prefer dingus. Knucklehead is a good go-to for me as well. Definitely not true. Done it before and they were pissed. We called him Slava Lava Ding Dong. My shitty ex from years ago used to do one thing that I still chuckle about. When confronted by a tough guy at a bar or club, he would sternly say, You sir, are a silly goose. It always caught people off guard and diffused the situation. At least it did when I was with him. I've been doing this for quite a while. It first started because I couldn't remember the person's name so I'd say remember the ding dong that, and after working in digital marketing web development for a decade some co-workers and clients get the ding dong alias too. Doink is another good one, although I've been a long time fan of ding dong ever since a substitute teacher in high school called our whole class a bunch of ding dongs lol. Ding dong carries a different connotation when you call them a fucking ding dong though. At the Vanderpump Rules reunion one called the other a poo poo head which was pretty good. Got a laugh but still got the point across. I do the same with Gooba. Occasional crazy drivers make me use ding dong toe. Falang ding dong. I always use dodo. I do the same when people are acting childishly angry. I ask them are you poopy like asking a baby if they have a poopy diaper. Sometimes it makes it worse though lol. I like to throw around dumb idiot. To really hammer it home. Since they are an idiot they need the help anyways. Honka honka. I love using ding dong also weenie is a fave of mine too lol. Oh you silly sausage. Knucklehead, goofball, muppet, panini head and grapefruit are my usual go-tos. I prefer ding-a-ling. My family has always used doofus. Gooba or gooba gobba. I've always used dodo after the bird. Considered a stupid bird. I'm quite partial to goomba. Whenever I am at a function, I call the female host a ding-dong. When asked why, I say because you are a hostess. Nobody is going to bring up Gooba. We use Ding Ding in my house. And the missing word is? Ding Dong Bell. In the well. My mother did not know what a dildo wants. For years, my mother called my brother and I dildos. In my early teens, I learned the true meaning. I suggested she no longer use the term when referring to her children. I emphasized that it was probably a really good idea not to do it in public. I'm a fan of calling them a muppet, or a dumbass depending on how well I know them. I thought my husband was the only one who did this. It really does take all the sting out of being a dumb dumb. Numbnuts is my go-to. You have to say it in a mock southern accent. Usually too funny to elicit a negative response. This may work with some people, but it did not work with me. I recognize passive aggressive nonsense immediately and I don't allow it. I was called a ding dong, and I never spoke to the dude again. I used the term doofus on our son. Got the point across, but he did not feel insulted. I would also call myself a doofus. I call them a goof. That way they get to keep their dignity by implying that it's intentional. It makes me think of a goofy movie. It is an all-time favorite and always brings a smile to my face. Helps me to diffuse without blowing up. Works with co-workers, my wife, and my kids. Genius has the same effect. Call them a random inanimate object, different every time, and leave them to sort it out. You launch airway to go, bobsled. Hold my beer you dingleberry.